Damage unit is gonna be carry here. Like, yeah, they have to be very careful. I, I carry. feel like uh, they have a lot of uh, safety plan here coming from the side of Evo. So uh, let's have a look into some of these uh, uh, top videos coming in for both teams, Evo's Esports, alongside with X Assassins. <laughs> It's having the reborn kicked out. <laughs> oh. Calling them the reborn oh, rejects. Oh, 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 oh. And that's gonna be painful. Oh, like, like I kind of like how exercise is like, you know what, you know, you just, you know, have a tiger logo. We are, you know, Malaysian kind of flavor. For those of you who don't know, Harimau Malaya is like a national, Malaysian national symbol. Uh, kind of thing. Five, so yeah, in this case here, player. Evo is going to be on the blue team and Axe Assassin on the red team here. I'm definitely looking forward to see how the drafts here work out for Axe Assassin. Double mage setup, playing aggressive is their signature right now. But how will Evo Esports respond to this here? Oh, they respond with a lot of aggression straight over onto the face of Arta right there, giving him enough poke. But JPL wants to continue trying to proxy the wave away but uh with that being said uh a lot of all these uh, entry points have already been shut off from the side of arta but they will still clear the wave nonetheless uh but they can protect their jungle way better in that sense so arta will be able to soak all this xp uh meanwhile uh look at the rotations coming in from the side of the cuckoo alongside with nami they've already uh, secured this buff i i, so I like it I like how Evos was actually playing this here. Like, they wanted to actually regroup into a four-person rotation up top towards the buff. But Axis has actually replied by sending two guys here, the Akai as well as uh, who to defend up top there. Mm -hmm. But, and because of that, they could not transition into a top uh, buff steal. They actually backed off and respect and get the, the levels here. Yeah. Take, take their buff safely here. So, very smart decision there by Evos. I also have to agree with you, and alongside that, the Gushin tried to actually steal the River Crab, but uh, that didn't really have much damage output so it's gonna be a little bit more of a uh, rotations coming in from x-pack but this time around both teams really respecting each other a whole lot they, they're they playing really safely usually EFOS are the ones who take all of these really really bold moves into the jungle raiding it really confidently but this time they're giving enough of respect towards the side of uh, oh no, Axis as they have to be very careful about this here. Tabos has already cut the creep wave. They can actually regroup for a fight in here. Oh, frog jump. Then seems like he's being caught in between. Flicker being popped right there, but it's gonna be a first blood over the side of Axis. Cuckoo running for his life, but will that Bambi have enough damage right there? He's going back for JPL, but JPL alongside with Akimi will actually secure another kill for the side of Evos. But the fight does not stop there, and that's gonna be another kill over on the side of Carry and that's gonna be a 2-1 yeah. as a result that, that was really a uh, bad play there from X Assassin <laughs> but at the same time here do you want to steal it oh, oh yeah. X. Nope. just a little bit more he could have gotten it but it's gonna be potato alongside with the rest of Evos actually winning all these fights and so they brought down low but it's a haywire fight coming in for the side of Assassin's biting more than you can chew and at the same time here, you know, what, the reason why I say it was a bad fight is because, like, Evo is for, they, they lost actually one member. But at the same time, you can see Potato was actually cutting on Creep Wave. He could actually rotate to actually join the team fight. On the other hand, Axe Assassin's move could not do anything because he was actually cutting the Creep Wave down bottom here. But oh, here for now. Cuckoo, and it seems like uh, JPL will be cut off with the wall for a little bit. But Bambi putting enough of uh, DPS coming through to actually negate a push coming from the side of Axe Assassin's. And now they'll go in the reset and uh, they will shove up the mid lane as well. Uh, looks like they're going to be prioritizing the river crab here from side of Evo's uh, SG here. They want to make sure oh dear Bambi gets as much economy as possible. And in this case here, he's getting a lot of it. He's got one kill so far with the assassin money buff here. And he's going to be looking for aggressive ganks very quickly as well. Yeah, and uh, Potato didn't really have much of a trouble to deal with. They're all level six, and they're already pressuring towards the mid side. They just have to give it off a little bit for the bottom of side as Assassin's here looking to secure this tower. But Potato clears off the wave, and now looking for a kill. He's gonna call in the horse, and it's smooth. He may have Varvil alongside with him for a ride, but it's not gonna be enough to bring down Potato. That's, that is the reason why you pick a Tabos right now. He's just so aggressive. He can clear the creep base really quickly because of, it, because of his AOE spells here. And 
very smart decision to do so much damage down below because he saw as the creep was about to die he died he cleared the creep he forced the tower to hit the heroes here and forced them into a retreat there hmm seems like a, there's a lava poker yeah I, and i gotta say that from the side of soul alongside with the uh potato who controlled tamas so so well he managed to buy enough time for evos to actually bring down the top wave tower and now mid lane as well because of that play from the potato like it forced x assassin that you actually backed off and when they backed off they could not rotate in time to defend against this mm -hmm. and of course uh all the entry points are being sealed off a turtle will be given towards the side of evos thank you very much and of course for the side of assassins they have to play a little bit slower waiting for leo mark to actually get his items up then perhaps they can do something alongside with gushin now oh, is gonna lane. go farm mid lane here oh my goodness and when that's over on the side of soul pushing it all the way back and that's gonna be him getting slain away and that was just a really really solid kill coming in for the side of nami feeling too confident here from the side of eos esports they wanted to abuse the turtle buff here up onto his old dear bambi but as soon as they go up there's just no one contesting there and at the same time souls was actually all by himself in the mid lane here so nice little pick up from x assassin maybe they need a couple more here but hold it's oh. on mid lane here again is gonna be the tanks here they managed to actually uh, catch the grok in the middle of the brush but uh ace will just uh, let him loose because uh it takes too much effort to actually bring down grok anyway so they don't really want to waste too much time over on the top side meanwhile Assassin's is already taking out another tower but smooth chasing in for oh, all your no. can he it's go for die. a kill oh Rocket. no it's just so close uh it seems Ooh. like uh, it's gonna be a kill for sure yeah yeah. I, I liked how uh, Smooth was trying to dodge a rocket initially, but you know, <laughs> Bambi just held that a little bit too long and then just eventually got it eventually. So, yeah, nice little mind plays there, but unfortunately gets outplayed instead here. Here comes Assassins jumping into enemy lines, but it's not going to be a really good move. As you can see, there's no minions whatsoever and not enough health for them to actually commit for a full blown fight. Arta in the middle of it all as Potato tries to chunk his health down low and look at Akai being brought to 50% just like that it's, it's never a good idea trying to flag from behind in the middle tower considering that the tier 1 and tier 2 is has a rider rather close uh, range between each other so there's not really a lot of room to actually work with for this rotation but it looks like evil esports are going to be taking the third turtle for themselves and this time the access it already yeah and it seems like uh, cuckoo is getting all charged up but he's all alone getting punished by all these members from evos as he forces out that wild charge and another element just burnt just like that assassins forced to play it passively but for some reason they are still holding decently in terms of kill numbers and just hoping to actually hold on to this tower but this will just be another tower being brought down low and will be crushed right there cuckoo oh, oh my goodness that Minoa Fury over onto three members right there Artar in the middle of it all but Ace will be slain alongside with Harley with the huge damage output but Potato will bring down AX and now they will march forth to get the mid lane JPL there. That was a huge minus fury here, but at the same time here, now they still have the carry available here. Mineral JPL taking a little bit of damage here. Needs to be very careful here, but Axis hasn't played that very well in terms of defense as well. They had AX just doing so much damage on that Hardy, just finishing off uh, the Kimi Bambi as well as uh, Ace in this regard. So it was a nice little pickoff here, but is it going to be enough here? You know, I, I think it was all right. Uh, it's not too bad for Exasis. Yes, they lost the tower, uh, and they could have had lost both towers if they don't play it correctly. And they still managed to bring down that Harley right there. So it's um, good news uh, for the side of uh, Evo. So they may have uh, gone in for a little bit of exchange, but AX still did part of his job right. And uh, right now, Cuckoo. Oh, Cuckoo. Oh my goodness. Uh, where is he going? Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a kill for the side of Carrie. And being stuck right through the wall, Akai will be able to pick off the side of Carrie as well. A lot of uh, tussle there and flicker is being popped there from the side of Ace. AX trying to finish him off, but he's right under the turret range, so he's going to be A-OK. -okay. But top lane, though, smooth, trying for, to run for his life, but there's just nothing much that he can be 
still doing up there and the uh, evos they will be able to pick up this yeah, is just doing so much damage but at the same time here where was he going one way trip to sending soul back <laughs> to the base yeah. so in this regards here without carry and the turtle buff here uh, looks like evos evo did not capitalize too much on that third turtle buff here and this time they need to make sure that soul gets his items as quickly as possible so far so good soul does have the items here does have the endless strike as well as golden staff so he needs mm -hmm. one more item before he actually comes up online fully here but yeah looking very comfortable here and evo's esports actually not going to go, to go for the magical beauty here this time they are not going to go for the ice queen one instead going for the berserker fury here so the kimi is hitting a lot of critical damage considering that he has one of the highest attack speed in the game oh. who doesn't actually need attack speed. they're gonna start the law right now and look at the damage output it's gonna be enough but they're gonna focus over onto Ata. Ata forced to run for his life he does have a little bit more health left to actually fend them off but here comes a reason and potato chases right in and they will all back away assassin though this is not a fight for themselves meanwhile they were pushing towards the top lane and this lord will be in the hands of evos sg the power of the kimi with the berserker fury ladies and gentlemen the beat the blade of despair and the berserker fury just took down that towers uh, the, the, the lord so quickly here and access as it tried to make some sort of play but at the same time you can see evo's esports was actually holding the lord trying to bait axe assassin into a five-man team fight mm -hmm. and because of that axe assassin just like hey you know they're just baiting us there's no point committing this yeah but at the same time they just bought enough time for them to actually re-secure the lord for themselves they so. played clean i i gotta say but now they have to deal with the big elephant in the room and the lord right in the middle they are being caught up by the wall but he's going in for the middle oh. for over onto two but they will still bring down all these walls bring down the tower nonetheless as they open up more room for evos to storm in the base objective gd ladies and gentlemen evos esports as she played the objective game here JPL playing out of his five or out of his mind with the mid and furry so far and he's been making so much space oh, here but so Souls he's gonna be fine here he's gonna be yeah. able to heal himself up oh, but that's still a chunk of damage output coming in from the Harley and they gotta go in once more Nami getting caught up by the side of Potato but here comes Reply coming in from the side of AX as well but there will not be any sort of commitment as they will focus towards the side of the bottom lane but the middle of furry it will hit over on the side oh, of Harley gets cancelled cancel immediately and now he's gonna go in with a revive he immediately figures out of the way and all of them are still standing still intact and still keeping pressure towards the top side wow that was an insane play there from x assassin a nice little cancel there uh, from from Ata, but it wasn't enough it, it feels like it's not enough here <laughs> but they still managed to uh, fend themselves off and they brought down the immortality so that's still big news for them now can they clear this wave in time and reset this one up I, I feel like it's gonna be hard for evos to crash oh, oh look baby. at Bambi. one hit away can he give a life oh. no it's enough he tried to actually life steal his way but unfortunately he does not have the house claw available for himself oh he's he gonna here. down oh no ah. yeah, it's a tank he's gonna get destroyed here but he's keeping us away he's still alive yeah. 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 all these members but there's no follow up at all carry coming in from the top side going in over 1v1 alongside with the carry? but one more member down from the side of easy some trouble so oh no it's not gonna last long three members on top of him and that that's a double kill for the Leo Mart. Oh no, that was a disaster here for Evo's Esports. They were getting super greedy. They were trying to push off the lane here. Potato is actually trying to force out rotations here from X Assassin. X Assassin played that really well, but damn, that was a sacrificial at its finest here coming from Yeah, GPL. I can say that. The, the little bit of hiccups coming in, not the cleanest game I've seen from uh, Evo's for sure. But oh, even Bam is getting challenged once again with this invasion from X Assassins. They're playing more confidently it's good to see this malaysian team who just qualified through the qualifiers and now they're challenging the guys at the top of the table oh they have the durians available up on harley as well so this is where things get a little bit more interesting for the high loss but at the as well as the tabus but in this case here they don't really care that much yet but right now evos esports they they, they just lost a couple of hiccups here but they are still in the best co condition here considering they have two marksmen dudes doing so much physical damage from the carry as well as Odin and Bambi and mm -hmm. you can see X Assassin they're trying to get this kind of pick off trying to pick off the, yeah. the, the main damage leaders here and Evo's was like they're just playing a chill game right now it's, yeah it's 
I, I feel it's like a hundred percent win game right now. I I I still think it's a 50-50 depending on this lord right now that will come in in about fifteen seconds as Arta pushes Bambi all the way to the wall and they will go in to commit in this team fight. Ace getting knocked out as well, but he still has his immortality, so there's no point focusing over on that high horse as Evos tries to back away, reset this fight. But now they have absolute control towards the side of Lord, but they still want the turns instead. They want to siege and now we want to see some response coming in from the Exasis, and they will pop immediately the immortality coming from Ace goes the flicker and now with the reset being taken away Evos still does not find the formula to crack down the walls of Exasis. Oh no that was uh, not the fight that Evos ex, uh, ex Assassin was actually looking for here. It was a smart play by Arata to actually go for the Hurricane Dust to zone out Odier Bambi mm -hmm. but the teammates were not in position to actually follow up that true. So that was an unfortunate event for them but because of this commitment here it allows Evos Esports to actually take the lot potentially here. Yeah and it brought down the Lord Real Low. They may just bait them into this JPL. fight right now. Dota pushes him back, but they still got the Lord instead. Not too sure where the camera's going, but it's gonna be the side of Arta. They brought down as Kimmy gets the kill. One more for the side of Soul as well as Carry. Meanwhile, there will be every single one of all these Exasis members running for their lives. Only smooth left, but can't potato finish the job. There is a minion wave coming through the mid lane, and this may just be the first game in the hands of E. Evos Esports Singapore and game one. And this is pretty much game here. There was a fantastic run here from Evos Esports SG and god dang that, that fight right there was just disastrous for Assassin. They needed to commit into the Lord, but you can see the amount of physical damage output being dished out from Odir Bambi. Yeah, like it was just insane. Like the carry just definitely went online with all the damage output. And look at all these stats here. Soul definitely the MVP for the game uh, with six kills. Wow, so despite that, he was just losing out a little bit more, but in that 